In today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at Kurtosis with the help of Python. We're gonna go through a few different examples and plots, and we're gonna be using libraries like SciPy, NumPy, and Matplotlib. But before we do start coding in Python, I wanna go over more details about what exactly Kurtosis is. All right, so as promised, a little bit more information about Kurtosis before we start coding. So first, Kurtosis really gives you the information on the thickness or shape of the tail compared to the rest of a distribution, which having this information, it allows you to know kind of like the extreme values within a data set. So there's three different types of Kurtosis to be familiar with. There is mesokurtic, leptokurtic, and platokurtic. And you can see all three of these, uh, we will be plotting them in the video, but this is the plot uh, right over here. Now, there is two different definitions of kurtosis uh, when it comes to providing the calculation. You have just your standard kurtosis and then you have excess kurtosis. So think of like a normal distribution having a kurtosis of three. Well, within Python, specifically SciPy, we're gonna be referring to something called excess kurtosis, which takes the kurtosis minus three. So instead of with normal kurtosis, how you have a normal distribution uh, where kurtosis is three, in SciPy and what we'll be going over with our examples in Python, we're gonna say a normal distribution has a kurtosis of zero. So essentially just take your kurtosis minus three and that is excess kurtosis, which we'll be using today. So. First up, we have mesokurtic. Now, this is a kurtosis that is close to a normal distribution, so we should expect a value that's gonna be pretty close to zero. Up next, we have leptokurtic, and this is distributions with heavy tails or outliers, which means there are more extreme values than a normal distribution. So because of the distribution has heavier tails, the kurtosis is gonna be greater than zero. And lastly, you have platokurtic, and this is a distribution with light tails or fewer outliers compared to a normal distribution. Uh, this distribution is gonna have a kurtosis less than zero. So we're gonna be covering three different distributions in this video. We're gonna be covering the normal distribution. So you can think of that as your standard bell curve or Gaussian distribution. I hope you know a normal distribution before jumping into this video. Uh, we're also gonna be covering a uniform distribution so think about the probability being the same for all cases. I do a video on uniform if you wanna check that out as well. And then lastly, Laplace distribution is very similar to your normal distribution, but there's heavier tails. And I don't have a video of that on the channel yet, but I may make one in the future. So with this background information out of the way, I think we are ready to start coding. So get your editor up and uh, let's start going over the tutorial. All right, so let's start by bringing in some imports. So import numpy as np, import scipy.stats as stats, import matplotlib.pyplot as plt, import seaborn as sns. And we'll run the cell, take a second, and then uh, let's move forward. We're also gonna have to set up a random seed so that way you guys can replicate the same exact data that I'm using in this video. So np.random seed, I'm gonna pass in the value of 11 and make sure you copy that. Awesome, now let's build out three different distributions over here. So let's have our normal. So I'm just gonna say data normal equals np.random.normal. I'm gonna pass in a few different values over here. Pass in zero, one, and 1,000. So mean being at zero, uh, then our certain deviation one, thousand, that side of things. I'm gonna copy this code over here. And then what I'm gonna do next is set up data for leptokurtic. So leptokurtic. And then instead of random.normal, we'll do a Laplace. So Laplace like that. 0, 1, and 1,000, and good with that. And uh, I guess I should have called this mesokurtic, but normal also works, not a big deal. And then lastly, we're gonna use the platokurtic. So 
Okay, and then we're gonna use a uniform distribution for this one, so uniform like this. And we're gonna have negative one over here, and then one like that, and uh, 1000, and I think we should be good to go. So the first thing I wanna do, and we're gonna go to example one, we're gonna actually plot all these out. So we'll say example one, build plots. And I'm gonna plot all these together. So what I'm gonna say is plt.figure over here. And I'll say fig size equals 12, six. And then start building these out. So we're gonna start off with our mesocritic, mesocritic which is our normal distribution. And uh, let's do that. So we're gonna do subplots. So plt.subplot, let me zoom, not zoom, but I scroll up a little bit. So subplot over here, subplot, and we'll say one, three, and one. We'll do a hist plot. So sns dot hist plot like that. Pass in our data normal, normal like that. KDE equals true, and then color equals blue, and then we can set a title. I'll do title, and then. that then let's do our lepto right and then we'll just pass in this over here also this needs to be our second one we'll make this one red let's grab our third one Oops. And you can make these a lot fancier if you really want to, but I'm not too concerned with that for this video. And there are no errors. Well, there is going to be an error because I didn't change this to three. And uh, I have an error on here because these need to be parentheses now we should be good awesome so you can see over here we have normal laplace and then also our uniform distribution of uh, random data that we generated from numpy so we're, we're looking good right now um i do want to do one more trio of plots and what we're going to take a look at and this is going to be our second example so example two is going to be our QQ plot. Let's build that one out as well. So it's going to be, a lot of this code is going to be the same. So I'm just going to grab this and we'll make a few modifications. All right. So figure 12, six subplot. Those are going to be the same over here. And then all I have to do is do prob plot instead. We're going to pass this in over here and we can set our distributions as well. Um, so what I'm gonna say on this side of things, instead of KDE, we'll say distribution equals like this. And then all we're gonna do is pass in norm. So norm like that. And then what we're gonna have to do for the rest of these is we'll say plot equals PLT. So plot equals PLT. And we're, that's gonna replace the KDE and the color. And the code's gonna be the same for each of these. So feel free just to change this out. Have an error. I gotta change these out, but let me see what my error really quick is. Seaborn has no well, that's because it's in stats, not in Seaborn. So make sure it's stats. That's that over here. Awesome. And we have all of our different QQ plots. So you can see on this side of things, right? Well, I uh pass in we have normal lepto plot. Sweet. Yeah, so you can see. So we have our normal distribution, right? The mesocritic. Most of the values are going to be on this red line. Then we have our leptocritic, which you can see there's a decent amount of values on the sides over here. And then we have our platocritic, which is going to be our uniform distribution, right? And we have that there. So now let's calculate our kurtosis for each of these. And normally I, I do the calculations before I want to plot things out, but I feel like in this video, it made more sense to plot 
everything out before we calculated this. But uh, let me know. Uh, and we'll say example three. Well, three. Kurtosis and values. And you could have technically added the kurtosis values to each of these. In fact, in my first version, I had the kurtosis value on each of these different titles, but uh, then it made example three kind of pointless. So let's go through that first. So it's super easy to calculate this. All we're gonna do is hurt normal equals stats dot kurtosis, and then just pass in data normal. And what you'll see is, uh, and I didn't run this yet, but run that there, we should have a value pretty close to zero. And we do, right? Uh, negative 0 0.11. And if you guys remember from the slides that I shared, right? So our stats over here, SciPy, essentially we take a look at excess kurtosis. So we take the normal, which is gonna be typically three minus three. So that's why we're close to zero uh, rather than having three for our value. And now let's take a look at our leptokurtic. So we're gonna say Kurt lepto Kurtic. And remember, this is supposed to be a positive value, right? So stats.kurtosis and data. And honestly, I know I'm gonna spell it, so I'm just gonna pause this over here, right? And now we can print this out, so print out. And you can see our value is 2.15, which is positive. And lastly, right, the platycardic, we're supposed to get a negative value there. So let's do the same thing, right? Grab this over here. Pass that in, and we can just print that out. So, and check it out, negative 1.19. So awesome, we uh, were able to get the kurtosis for these three, right? I showed you an example of mesokurtic, leptokurtic, and platycurtic. And uh, yeah, so just to recap this video, essentially what we did is we created three different types of distributions. We did a normal, then Laplace, and also a uniform that way I could demonstrate the three types of kurtosis, right? Uh, first thing I did is we just built out some basic histogram plots over here. And uh, just to show you what these distributions look like before we calculate our kurtosis, then took a look at some QQ plots, which is pretty popular to use when you're looking at kurtosis as well. And then lastly, we actually calculated our kurtosis values across the board. You can just do stats.kurtosis pass in that distribution and we get those values, which I showed you with one being close to zero for our normal, then our value of two over here for lepto and then our negative value for the platycurtic. And again, this is kurtosis minus three. So just remember that if you have a difference of three and you're confused why, uh, psi pi is subtracting Hey, hope you guys enjoyed this video on kurtosis. If you are new here, make sure to subscribe to the channel. We're uploading at least three different data science videos every single week with the goal of reaching 100,000 subscribers in 2025. So any help towards there, really appreciate it. Now, if you want to keep studying statistics, I have a few videos down below in the description, as well as one right over here. And don't forget to join the Discord.